There are several pathways that can lead to disc bulges and herniation. The annulus is formed from collagen fibers that are held together with a ground substance. This forms an adaptable fabric. Inside the annulus is the nucleus, which is a gel. This gel gets pressurized to extremely high pressures during activities of daily living. Disc herniation can occur when the collagen fibers delaminate, which then allows the pressurized gel to work its way through the fissures in the fabric wall. Now, the fabric can delaminate with excessive stress strain reversals, but this is increased with corresponding load or with extreme end range of motion stretching. The pressurized gel works its way through the delaminated collagen. Notice in this intact joint model that has experienced some delamination in the collagen fibers, flexion causes the hydraulic effort to go posteriorly, and if there has been a delamination, a bulge will form. But then notice when the spine is stacked, no flexion occurs in the spine, no bulge occurs with the application of compressive load. So this is not random, it is 100% mechanical. Now you know what the coaching cues are for a person who can deal with a disc herniation.